going on youtube the kryptonian here i'm bringing you uh, mandela residue today um this mandela residue i have known about for some time i just didn't have a way to show you guys until now uh what we're looking at here is it's going to be luke i am your father residue this was filmed on december 15th of 2008 the show which this is on is two and a half men it's season six Episode 126, The Devil's Lube. Uh, this is where Charlie Sheen and his brother Emilio Estevez were both in. Uh, the scene clip we're going to look at here real quick is James Earl Jones and John Cryer at the funeral. Um, I'm going to include in the description the a link to this so you guys can check this out for yourselves. Um it's actually between the minute of 3 minutes and 41 seconds to 3.45. I actually set this back to 3.35 because I wanted you guys to hear this. I'm going to play it a couple times. So here we go. Mind recording my answering machine message for me? Let me know some $500. That's okay. I'm rich now. Hey, what do you want? Uh, this is CNN or Luke on your father? Uh, let's back it up again. There it is again, guys. So, it's crazy to see this, that it's actually set up like that. I'm going to do it one more time. Let's see. We'll go like that. Yeah, we'll go to 340. I'm rich now. Hey, what do you want? Uh, this is CNN or Luke on your father. So, why, why? Why, oh, why are we sitting here trying to tell us that it is no i'm your father when clearly not only is the actor saying this the man that actually said the line but back in 2008 at two and a half men why would they write this in if this was the case i'm telling you guys this is a mandela effect and I mean, for me, the Mandela effect, the biggest part that, that blew my mind or got started was a lot of different things. But, you know, I, I'm one of the ones that clearly remembers Luke. I'm your father. And, you know, I wanted to just, again, show some pictures of some things that kind of brought me into the Mandela effect. Now, if you haven't checked out Scarab Performance's channel, I'd highly suggest you do so. He shows a lot of good Mandela effects, especially on Monday night. Um when I first started kind of getting involved in YouTube and kind of looking at things and realizing that my world isn't the same, one of the first things I found was this. And if you haven't seen it, to me, this is a Mandela, my own personal type, because I have never, and I've lived here my whole life, uh, well, not my whole life, there's sometimes I lived in Colorado, but the majority of my time I've lived here in Florida. And this is a purple dandelion. I took this picture in a gas station parking lot that's right near my place and I don't know about the rest of you but I've never seen this this is new now again I do maybe credit the fact that this might be chemicals because there is a Home Depot nearby so you know I, I kinda left it like that it's up to you to decide you know I just present information here uh, this was actually taken in Colorado from my cousin. He posted this on Facebook. I did share this on Scarab's channel one night. I think it was on the Freaky Friday call-in. To where, you know, when he posted it, he says, oh, wow. You know, all he mentions was they were busy today. And I mentioned that it was Kim Trails, and all he did was blow it off. No one in the family even wanted to acknowledge. And that that usually how it goes here in the Mandela Effective Community. Um, this picture, I grabbed it because to me, I'm only seeing four in the car. And again, I'm a four JFK. I know it's six in this timeline, but I'm at least showing, you know, what I run across. And I love that I can actually do this now with you guys. So you're going to get a lot more of this. I got a lot more videos on some things I've come across that I want to share with you guys. But I wanted to get this one out here first. And, of course, then here's the famous one that blew my mind a long time ago. This is what kind of woke me up to the Mandela Effect was the Ford logo. I mean, come on, man. That's my Ford. That's what I remember. 
This whole curly cue does not make sense. I mean, it's on a sticker. Now, could they Photoshop? Possibly. But, you never know. So that's it. I wanted to get this video out here real quick and at least show you guys some of this residue. See what you guys thought about it. Um, again, I'm kind of doing some overhaul on my channel right now because I want to give you guys better content. I want to be able to show you guys some of my thoughts and where I'm coming up with these thoughts. Um, I'm definitely going to do a lot more videos here. I might even have one more drop today because I was on Google Earth and I found something crazy that I want to get you guys' opinion on as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, my live streams are going to be picking it up soon. i am just got to find time to do it. I apologize sometimes the way it comes through. I'm working with another program. As soon as I got the ins and outs of it set up, I'm going to go live so that way you guys can check it out as well. But I appreciate you guys checking out my channel, coming by, saying hi. Um, I hope everyone has a beautiful day wherever you're at. And I hope to talk to you guys soon. Love you all. Bye.